I got my house. Oh, this does look pretty bad. Guys, I've only seen one of these episodes before in a long time. Bel Air, Los Angeles. A location we always come back to to tour some of the most exquisite Bro. properties. People need to stop doing this. This, like, just stop, just stop it. Stop doing this. The rocks like this, bro, it, it's just a hazard. Like, it's just a hazard, that's it. In the entire city. And this one is no exception. Situated over a 1.6 acre lot, this newly constructed modern estate is absolutely stunning. I can't wait to show you inside. Let's go have a look. Bro, people trip on that shit all the time. Oh my God, that door though, what the fuck? in second floor we have this amazing seating area kitchen on the back and this level also features that incredible infinity edge pool now down below us on the <clears> first <throat> floor we have all the amenities incredible patio and some of the guest suites that's and lastly, right. on the top floor which is the third floor we have the carport and the five car garage on the left wing two guest suites and the primary bedroom suite on the oh. right wing now, I wanted to mention the layout of this property so that throughout the tour, you know exactly where we are. Spec for this home, we have nine really bedrooms, bad, 10 full, three half baths, approximately 20,000 square feet of interior space on the market for $68 million. And I want to give big thanks to the wait, listing agents. Wait, 68 mil for 20K um, square foot? On the market for $68 million. And I want to give big thanks to That's the listing agents, Sally, Levick, Anita, Tomer, and Chantel for making this tour possible. And now let's start our tour with the exterior. Right. The house looks very deceiving from the street level because it's built on a hillside, meaning this section here Which is can the be top a good floor, thing. and below that we have two more levels. I love the futuristic lines here. If you look at the roof, you'll see these curved beams above the structure, and we're gonna see these beams throughout you know, the property as well. I don't mind that. Now, another detail I wanna point out here is the metal siding. They're installed oh. in different sizes and patterns, and to tie this exterior look, they also have these openings with strip lighting underneath. That way, they can light up the facade, but at the same time, give this house a At night, yeah, look. I was gonna say. And coming this way, uh can light up the facade, but at the same time, give this house a You know what? I feel like they had an effect in mind, right? And whenever they actually did it, they're like, Jesus Christ, I, I think this is not what they were looking for. Because this does not look complete at all. This looks like a failed project. A very distinct look. And coming this way, walkway takes you to the entry Probably of this made home. sense on paper. Really nice water feature on our left-hand side. Beautiful modern lines. And coming here, we have this living wall Frame with this LED strip lighting. You can see the glass panels. Because you're not getting the shadows that you want. It's just that they want. It's, now, there's overlap and shit. It's weird. Pedestrian gate opens up to a landing. Water feature looking what over the these fuck? breathtaking views. Massive pivot door is on my right hand side. But before we go in, I want to talk about this section. This door right here opens up to an internal staircase that goes down to the second floor because this section houses the five car garage and the carport. These views are insane. And the fact that you get these views. Yes, your I don't want to nitpick too hard, but I feel like the entrance is always cool to have like some, these views something are cool. Insane. And the fact that you get these views from in your the entrance, garages, like a token, is crazy. Uh, is that, I don't know, open anything. these doors, you have a carport also. Looks empty. It's a pretty cool space. Although this section feels detached, it's technically attached to the, the property. That's why they have a dedicated this staircase right there. I am pretty sure Going this way, Mike, can stay right there. Look at this. Door. This is incredible, right? This, this might be one of the biggest him. pivot doors we've ever seen, and we have seen some big pivot doors. Bro, without it. Imagine, dude, opening this piece of shit anytime you go get your DoorDash, brother. Like, just fuck off. Yeah. This and just come shit. on in. This hallway takes you to the two guest suites and the primary bedroom, which we're going to cover later. And the way they designed this house, they took advantage of the roof lines and they placed this massive skylight to bring natural light from the back side of the home. Now, lastly, we have the staircase That's here. Cool. Gorgeous chandelier. Oh, incredible views. 
Now, let's go to the second floor. The chandelier is trash. People have tried this all the time. People always try these like very long chandeliers like this. Okay? I think they're just bad. They're just, they're not impressive. They're just, they're, they're, they're bad. This? You just like this. The balls. Oh, hell nah. No, that's just annoying. This spiral staircase is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna take my time to talk about its details. It's fabricated out of steel and aluminum. It is fully suspended, meaning it doesn't have any columns below it running. Chat, tell me that like long slats, either in a spiral or in a circular way, like long, long slits, whatever, wouldn't be better here. It, it would look almost like, a, it looks like a nice, like an illusion of a, almost like, like a crystal. And it looks better than this shit. This is, this is trash. Running to the first floor, it connects the third floor to the second floor. And it's essentially this massive steel structure that cantilevers and wood threads, curved lines, all this natural light coming in. It is definitely the focal point or the center point of this home, especially for the entry. Now coming this way, I wanna take everybody to this wing. This is where we have the seating areas, lounges. Our views are fantastic. All curated furniture. This looks Space like looks a giant incredible. doctor's oh. office or some shit. Like I'm getting ready for a proctology exam. And this is where we have the first seating too. area, Welcome. floating fireplace. This fireplace is mounted to the ceiling and to the floor. And basically the center section is all open in glass. So you can enjoy it from both sides. Then we have another seating area here. I mean, look at the furniture arrangement. It's perfect for parties. It can just- Yo, somehow, off topic, I feel like almost, I, did, I rented two houses that, that had something like this and both of them cracked the walls. Almost the first time I used them. You turn them on, it just, it just cracked the walls. And top of that, I don't think they're very good. I, I think they're, they, they're not very efficient to, like, as like a, a heating source. They're, just, they're pretty bad. I mean, look at the Welcome furniture the arrangement. Jungle. It's perfect Thanks, for parties. Man, you can just have your friends here, conversate, enjoy your time. Not fine Use it. your bar, which is next to the seating area. And Mikey, can we- These are, guys, I think I'm being overly negative, but dude, these sofas, <clears throat> they look so uncomfortable. How do you even sit in them? How do you even socialize in them? They, they, they're just bad sofas. Let me get a close up. We gotta talk about this beautiful island. Look how they fabricated the marble slabs to create this design. Bad we day. have the same continuing arches here, another section on this side with backlighting. Bad day. Stone looks beautiful. Then on the other side, we have this Korean wall with a contour design, and you have your shelf here with backlighting, all these textures, your sink. This is beautiful. Yeah, just the volume of this space alone is incredible. I could easily imagine having a hundred. The wall is cool. At night, probably even looks better. People because the lighting goes inside of the slat. I mean, so each the, one the, of these the seating areas feel like a formal living room. Yeah. You know, they're so that. open. We get great light and welcome to the kitchen. This kitchen is absolutely stunning. Polyform cabinetry, massive island, dark countertops. And on the back, we have more of the lighter tones. This is your first sink and let's see. I believe this is the first dishwasher. Then you have three gas okay. stoves. Griddle on this side, and I really like this detail where they. I mean, this, this is like the color scheme you get in like a bathroom. To be honest, it looks a bit like, like a, it looks like a corporate bathroom or a corporate like cafeteria. It doesn't look like a kitchen at all. It, it's not homey. Recess in the knobs to the cabinetry, so it looks very sleek and cohesive. Hey Felix, just, earlier just you said yeah, once. Yeah, I uh, really like dark kitchens as well. To say so that is my word and wood tones together. It looks really, really good. Back. Beautiful contrast. If you ain't the glob, then you can't be glob. Mighty shut up! Don't shut up! Anyway, thanks for the streams. Keep on doing I the I heard it no watch. Slim From profile countertops. Then you have these open shelves. In fact, I'm going to show this. All polyform. What is that? Oh, shelves. Rich people problems. Only what do you, what do you put imagine in having Whatever you want. Your spices. You can change the head. configuration. You can add more. You can stack them inside. It's different. I don't think we've seen this uh, accessory or this feature before in a kitchen. Yeah, I'm all about. Uh, I think the point with spices that you you see them, you use them. I mean, having them hidden is just kind of a hassle. It's just kind of annoying. Kitchen organization and the fact that I didn't know what the, didn't know what those were shows. I don't think we've seen that before. And then you have rest of your cabinetry here, massive sink. I believe I keep opening the wrong ones. 
that's the trash bin and this is the dishwasher right here some glass uppers you always forget to come into this section we have the panel freezer fridge and more Gaggana built-in appliances, two uh. ovens, espresso maker, and Mikey, why don't you stay there? Because I want to show the backside of Yo, this kitchen. Yo, hidden stuff Before is Before we dumb. go there, stop it. We have a powder bathroom here it's with a so pedestal bad. sink. And now, Mikey, jump to the other side. We have a chef's galley here located behind the main oh, kitchen. Oh, fuck off! Get this old polyform. We have a sink. Well, Neil like gas cooktop, like all the these base cabinets, and uppers, and you have ball some Gaggana built-ins here great space that complements the main kitchen. Now coming to this side, we have a breakfast nook. Nobody will ever use that. Nobody. This marble polyform table looks cool absolutely table. gorgeous. It by slides or opens up. And if this dining area is not enough for you, right on the other side, we have the full nice. dining room. By the way, this, this house gets so house much natural light, would be I have to put my sunglasses on. Look how bright it is right now. We're in the formal living room. Yeah, it's incredible. All the windows have this subtle tint on it as well. So uh, I don't know if it's polarized or oh, what, but no. it does a really good job. Not the fucking light, light bulb light. bullshit. I, mean, I just love it. This house has so much life in it, you know? Yeah. Welcome to the formal dining room. Look how exquisite these chairs are. Gorgeous chandelier above. You have this corner opening, infinity edge pool, amazing views of the canyons. And uh, I, I don't, I, I do that. What is there not to hate about any of this? This is tacky and dumb. Doesn't fit the scheme. Doesn't have no place there. It's not. It's not accompanied with any any other supporting piece. The fucking the seats look like fucking crap. Like dude, they look like chess pieces. And the table is it's just a normal table. I, In fact, if you look all this shit, it's so bad. All the way to the ocean. Just stunning. Look like, like booster lastly, seats. Let's talk about the seating area here. From McDonald's. Two leather chairs, coffee tables. Piece of a suck. Come on, man. What the fuck is this shit? This is a beautiful seating area. What are area. these seats? Come and on. create some separation between this seating area and the other seating area on the other side. They built this open bookshelf. Bro, but bro. You, you wake up groggy as fuck and you just want to sit, you just want to lay down somewhere and just just have a little nap does this look like appealing or, or this is trash seating area on the other side they built this open bookshelf but you can see these exposed that is not steel columns on each side then they fabricate no the tv and then they put these wood slats to kind of give more depth to this design element it looks beautiful looks very contemporary complements the house well and I gotta Try say, hard second seven. floor, uh, the main floor of this house looks absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Stunning. Yeah, like I said earlier, it's just a expansive, massive, wide open space. It's incredible. Also, these chairs, come more, on, bro. And I think the development team here did a fantastic job. Wait till you see the primary bedroom. Wait till you see the amenities. And we're gonna look at these views now. Next. Follow me this way. Outdoor kitchen, just like the rest of the home. Very contemporary. You have your grills, sink, these butcher blocks. 68 mil and you open up your fucking grills and you can put two steaks yo what the fuck is this grill so the home very contemporary you have your grill what is this steak, grill size a grill for ants tops. and a lot of times the outdoor kitchens that we it's see a little box. Good, but what there's is that? nothing interesting to them you know it's just like nice countertop you there's have your grill at all. Design. this one is Bad. like a your motorized sliding glass doors open up and you have that amazing indoor outdoor flow, your dining table here, seating for eight. Even the table is so exquisite. Then you look to this side, you have your lounging chairs, they match the table, and then your infinity edge pool. This pool is the focal point of the entire property, in my opinion. These are fantastic. It cantilevers cool over, pebble tech finish. We have the steps here, hot tub on this side, water feature walkway taking you down to the lower level patio that's chill art piece here not much this about it really it's, nice it's just yeah not... i love this pool i love the edge of it Mine how it kind of gives just this illusion of falling off this cliff into the canyon uh nice it looks, pool it looks really not cool. much about it it reminds me of the property that we toured in lake coma villa paduzzi that's right yeah, move on, move on. both for the pool so incredible all you see the library another beautiful seating area wall paneling tv where tv when Gorgeous light fixtures. Yeah, that must the chair them. here is so tasteful. Then you have this small bookshelf divider wall design. This is gonna jump on. I don't mind this one. 
fireplace, great light coming in, even amazing views. And you have this beautiful table here, bowls of glass bringing natural light, amazing views. And then on this wing, we have is... another seating area. Again, L-shaped couch, coffee table, these blue ottomans with diamond pattern stitching. TV, some open shelves, That's right. leather chairs. There are so many lounges and seating. Hello? Yes, hello. I'm in the bathroom right now. Can you bring me phone? It's in my room. Okay, I'm on my way. Two hours later. Here is your phone. Uh, anyway. Um, come on, bro. Bro, chat, this is not out of touch. Here it comes. I feel like for the range the of the viewing, in general, our dog this is a small TV. Lil bro coming back in the summer yeah, to slide off with your sweaty it ass crack my mind away. Sofa. I think they're like it's eight a small or nine TV. plus. Just how wide open the spaces are as well. I feel like this is a perfect, like, entertaining home for parties and, uh... Dash has gotta be, Dash has gotta be like five or six meters out. It's gotta be a 90 inch Fucking banger. Otherwise, that shit can go suck. Events, you know? Absolutely. And because Good it's built on the hillside and the way it's LK been designed, Pixar. every single room, 85, every single hallway, 94. gets to enjoy these incredible views too. All right, back here, that's another staircase. And coming this way, we have the first guest suite. King size bed right in the center. What the fuck is this? Okay, they're trolling now. This, this is just shit. Then we have these wood slats pushing the bed more to the center of the room. That way you have this walkway that can take you to your walk-in closet, water closet, or your bathroom. Again, we keep talking about the natural light coming into That's this it. house, but if you want That's to block it. it off, you have automatic shades throughout the bedrooms and the common spaces. That bedroom is like- All these glass walls and windows are Fleetwood, and some of them are actually motorized. And yeah, it's a great. As not going to be able to afford into a house. Critiques every aspect of sixty-four million dollar house. He I like can never good afford. uses of space. Next up, he will rate hot female models that won't even look at him twice. Bro, bro, what about that? Women love me. Jesus Christ, bro. I'm young, good-looking, attractive, charismatic. Also, I got talent, skill. Yo, shut up, bitch. Yo, mods. Great bedroom. Mods, go get them. This is first out of the nine that we're gonna tour. How crazy is that, Mikey? Nine bedrooms. A lot of bedrooms for a lot of friends every time you have a party over here. There you, you know? go. Mikey's feeling the energy already. That's right. All right, this door opens up to the water closet. Then you have this beautiful floating vanity. Fixtures are gorgeous. And coming right here, we have the walk-in shower. They have this really unique glass door design for these showers or some of these rooms. On the bottom and on the top, it's clear. But in the center, they have this film or this design that gives it a little bit more privacy. And it just looks really nice, goes well with the rest of the house. Yeah, I feel like typically we would see uh... a little bit more privacy. Bro, what about when you go to the shower, you're butt naked? Bro, bro, when you're walking to the shower, my dick is out. Like, I don't go my clothes in the shower, clothes off, then pull them out, then dry up and re redress up. And Kind of just a fogged glass design Who here thought of this to shit? give some privacy, but they had a little texture and design on this one. Absolutely. And with that, we're done on the second floor. Now let's go downstairs and check out the amenities. Pool table. This looks very sleek. Matches the house really well and all the rest of the furnishings. You have your TV, Lame. sliding glass doors. Open up to the patio on this level, which we're going to check out in a bit. And coming this way, we have get a real another one. seating area. Again, every single one of these chairs, sofas. Bro, th this, bro, I don't know who, who designed it. I don't know who furnished this house. Bro, what? It's four different, five different materials across the board. All different colors and shit. What is it? What is this? Dude, bro, this is like a, a, a box of chocolates. Have another so scene here, yeah? Again, Only every single one of these. Who thought of this shit? Like be sofas, to the jungle coffee clueless. tables are so beautiful, then you have some art pieces here. And above us, we have the spiral staircase. It took the developed center. Don't care we how much time. floor to ceiling. Nobody uses, that. Nobody uses any of these. Marble seating area. No, nobody uses any of these. These are always useless. People need to stop building shit in these houses. Nobody cares. In the center, LED lights. Popular. 
Exactly, we've been seeing more of these, right? Yeah, for sure. And lastly, we have this. This has got to be the coolest pocket door I have ever seen. It looks like a massive custom design pivot door, but it actually pockets into the wall but why? and opens up to the movie theater. Just like the rest of the home, this space is decked out. Look at the ceiling treatment here. Not bad, I'm actually. Assuming I might be wrong. This is for the acoustics, or do you think it's just not for the bad? Looks? Actually, it looks like some kind of high-end acoustic paneling, and since this is a movie theater, it would totally make sense to have that in here. Totally, and it uh, looks very. It, uh, yeah, I think it's This is not bad. Very nice. Uh. Then we have padded walls. In between these padded walls, we have vertical LED lighting, built-in speakers, screen is on this side. These. The only thing that I care about in the theater room is how, what how the sound g travels. Okay and screen size. I think they did pretty de decent. Decent. Massive couches, dual size elevation, be bigger, but... very cozy space, very colorful. You have a really nice bar on the other side, and I gotta show this to everyone. These couches are super comfortable, and they're also motorized because... Oh! Let's see if I can get uh, this. Uh, uh, did you hear that? Couches are super comfortable, and they're also motorized because... He says it. These couches are super comfortable. <laughs> what is this? These uh, couches are super comfortable and they're also motorized because the seat. Jesus! That, that, is, not, that back, is not comfortable. And, okay. Bro, we've never seen that. Is like not, that is not that is not comfortable. Fuck off. Away. So nice. Okay, it's getting really comfortable. What was the last movie you watched, Dennis? Nah. I can't remember. Well, it has to be on one of the flights we've taken, right? For sure. 100 percent Maybe That's... like Batman or something. I think I made you watch that. I think that. maybe Dark Knight, the yeah. new uh, the, the new Batman, yeah. Exactly. And there you go. That's the movie theater. See also the problem, because I didn't pick too hard. The problem with this fabric a lot is that even though you're using it normally and you're not even dirty, it'll look dirty. Because when you go on one side, it makes a pattern and they'll end up just looking, they just look used and dirty when they're not. And it's, that's, it just looks annoying because of that. I'm gonna, I can't figure out. I gotta finish the job I started, Mikey. That's bad. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of it. There you go. All right, that's it for the movie theater. Let's continue back to the lounging area here. Again, yeah, we have yeah. the water vapor fireplace, seating area. Right on the other side, this glass wall opens up to the gym, old techno gym. You have two TVs, and this gym, trash, entire just, house. just grub and zone. Fragrance. You have the smell very prominent. Uh, the amenities being on the first floor, they start here. You have your sauna. Let's see, this door opens up to the gym again. Sorry, because of the reflection, I couldn't see what's in there. Yeah. Then coming this way, we have the main section of the spa. You have the two floating years, two, vanity, two, two, two. beautiful sink. This well, bad, tile back. You can run and walk almost fucking everywhere, okay? You buy a 68 mil house, you call it a gym, and you have in there the, the things you can do everywhere. Why not fucking weights? and other shit that, that you, you have to go to the gym for. Why not, why not put things in the gym that you would normally have to go to the gym for? Why put a bike and a, a, and a, a treadmill? Yo, what is this circus? Well, with these geometric patterns, then you have a light fixture here. I'm assuming it's alabaster. And then you have the steps taking you to the walk-in shower because you have a rain head above, body sprays, handheld, this back glass design is custom with backlighting. This is Garbanzo! And I really appreciate that they've curved this step around Less the freestanding three. tub. You have a spa within your home, a proper one. Yeah. With a sauna, you know, your vanity, shower, freestanding tub. You don't need to leave your house. Yeah. It's so nice. All right, follow me this way. We have it's this like door GTA opening up to a hallway. This now disgusting. this hallway takes you to another seating area. Yes, you heard me correctly. Another. Okay, bro. Okay, yo, pull out the binoculars, boys. Pull out the fucking 16x Ecog scope. A fucking upwards angled 50 inch TV across the map. What is this shit? Another seating area shared by bro. the two guest suites that we're about to tour now. Bro, bro, Beautiful. Bro. Not only are you backwards like this, you're looking at like this. Like, holy shit, brother. How the f do? Paneling. Dude, you have some it's storage so here on this bad. side. And now, it's let's so check out the bad. first guest suite on this level. 
exclusive door opens up alley. and the hallway takes you to the bedroom king size bed sliding glass doors open up hardwood floors we have the walk-in closet oh now i get it they ran out of money to furnish the house it makes sense they start going down in the, in the bedrooms they're out of money king size bed sliding glass doors open what up hardwood floors this? we have the walk-in closet off of the entry and then around the corner we have the open bathroom floating vanity water closet this door opens up to your walk-in shower again okay, so first it was for, for privacy right now why is the design back here again why why do you put this this thing what are, what are you using it again floating vanity water closet this All door right. opens up to your walk-in shower with the rain head really nice bathroom but why? that complements this bedroom Overall, I really like the design here, open concept, and then sliding glass doors take you to a balcony. Shared oh by the God. guest suite on the other side. Glass railing, outdoor seating area, amazing, amazing cool. view. And it's Bad. really nice. And Bad. with that, we're done snacks. on the swing. Wow, that was tasty. Now, let's check out the patio in this level. The on the first floor is incredible. We have the staircase bringing us down from the second floor patio. It's this beautiful open space, glass railing throughout. And I want to first take everyone right Rolex, here, QC which is the main boys. seating area. Fire pit in the center, beautiful outdoor furniture, and more of these canyon views. You know, around the Cut corner, this. if you just go right there, there is the Stone Canyon. Bro, if you got a patio and outside with a fireplace, it's a place to be like social. Like, what is this? Bro, what is that? Come on, brother. There. Come on. Oh. You know, around the corner, if you just go right there, there is the Stone Canyon Reservoir. There are so many good options for outdoor furniture with good materials. Why choose this garbage zone? Which is a beautiful man-made lake. Man, I just Every time I drive around Bel Air and I see the reservoir, program, it looks so cool. I and stick with? I can't believe we're like 15 minutes away from the heart of the city. And you live in a peaceful setting like this. Yeah, and we had one house tour right on the right on the. I and can the wife will stay like here. crazy. Early early in the days oh, yeah. of the channel, probably like. Okay. Two okay. Okay. Of okay. Walking shower. Ugly. Floor. Bad. Then you have more opportunity space. What's left is the third. Floor. What is this? Floor. We have two guest suites there and a primary bedroom. That primary bedroom is stunning. I can't wait to show you. Let's go up there. All right, let's go check out the top floor. Again, this beautiful staircase, chandelier in the center. And coming this way, we have this tall wall. And above that, they have this linear skylight that runs the entire length of this wing, bringing natural light. And I need to say, all the furniture in this house is not included in the price tag. But you can buy it if you want to. So it's for sale with the house if you want it to be. It's up for negotiation, but it's not included in the $68 million price tag. Wait, why not? And some of the pieces here are not cheap. I just happen to know the brands. Some of the pieces here are not cheap. I just happen to know the brands and I'm sure like we can point them out throughout the tour, but they're all like polyform and high end brands and they're not cheap. I love the couches in the living room. I love that table Yo. on the middle floor with the Virgil Abloh book on it, the, the black table. Yeah. Yes. It's a really cool one. A lot of good stuff. Welcome to the bathroom for this room. Floating vanity, tile walls. You have your walk-in shower here. And I really like the tiles on this side. They have this really cool pattern. And yeah, this is the bathroom for this room. Now, let's go back and continue our tour back to the hallway. I love this hallway. This has gotta be the coolest hallway. It runs all the way to the primary bedroom closet, by the way. This was the first, yeah. Yes, sweet, let's go have a look. Now levers out and floors, king size bed. You have your bathroom on the left hand side, and this section you put that together. Okay, it's a it's a primary bedroom suite. Come on in. This space is phenomenal. Mikey, stand right there. I this has to be the worst usage of space I have ever seen. There's no shot. This is serious. Bed against a backwards shelf. I don't know how big this primary bedroom suite is. But this is insanity. This is very large. This is like on the same scale as the uh, living room. So it's just a massive open space. Might be bigger actually. Yeah. 
and you have a small seating area for the entry. Again, beautiful furniture. What is that then? You have this pattern wall, small display case, and coming this way, another seating area. You have your king size bed on the right hand side. Bed. What is that? Oh, come on. Oh, please. This is troll. That's just troll. Frame, the troll details, right textures, these wood slats, everything about this room, the way the furniture is placed is stunning. I'm really impressed. These wood slats are hiding an open walk in shower. There's actually a glass wall behind it. We'll see that Where in a second. The TV and then you have these views. You have the seamless floor transition to your private balcony. Autom Much better out of furniture though. This is very nice. I like that. Automatic fleet with sliding glass doors. You have your blackout shades, all that good stuff. What is this cup? Bro, you bathe in a fucking giant teacup. I'm looking around to see if I'm missing anything. Then we have the fireplace <sighs> here. And then you really unique texture with wool. Pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, this is incredible. And uh, I just realized they probably have that window in the back of the room so they get like sun in the morning and the sun sets on the opposite side so in a different jump. color by the way then you have the shelf actually this walk-in closet is really nice cabinetry goes up quite a bit we have these the leather wrap doors in fact, can we show the inside mikey mm -hmm. smells very nice it does oh, up here right next to this glass wall so you can just sit down and enjoy your life that's all i'm gonna say all right, follow me. Let's continue our tour. Oh, where it is. Glass and coming this way, long vanity. This is like a dual setup. So you have the floating vanity on top, then you have the additional cabinetry on the bottom, more pattern tiles, LED lit in there. Your neighbors see your dick oh. in. Missed it. Oh. Massive walk in shower. All right. Catalina in the Cat distance. Overall. You liked it then? Interesting. Yeah. I'm a watcher. There's no room that I was like, oh, I want to be there. There's, there's, there's no like good overall room. There's none. Of, uh, a good sofa with a good TV. There's none of that. It's just bad. Good video though. Yo, this is X. X on yeah. the beat, yo. Okay. Well, my voice as well. That S. Anyone knows that boy? I don't know, he's just so soy Anyone knows that boy? I don't know, he's just so soy